All right, guys, I haven't done anything at CERN in a long time. And I thought this one was good. Um, we all know that they've been running the Hadron Collider uh, for the past few months, and there hasn't been any major result. Well, now there has. Oddly enough, today is 9-24-2015. The day they said something major would happen at CERN. Now, I've given up on the whole, it's going to be a disaster and we're going to get nuke shit, so. I've given up on that, that kind of hype, but I know that there's enough involved in the talk to know that something is going to be there, or something's going to happen. And this is what it was. LHC, uh, Large Hadron Collider, creates a liquid from Big Bang. LHC creates a liquid from Big Bang. Uh, this is coming from Above Top Secret, and this one's coming from Earth Sky. Scientists using the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, have produced tiny droplets of a state of matter thought to have existed right at the birth of the universe. The international team of Large Hadron Collider, and I wonder why it's not... Um, CERN's LHC. I wonder why it doesn't say that. I wonder why it's separate now. It's very, very interesting. Somebody might want to find that out. All right. I think CERN is the organization that owns everything. I think the LHC is an individual project, if I'm right. Anyways, uh, the Large Hadron Collider have produced quark gluon plasma, a state of matter thought to have existed right at the birth of the universe with fewer particles than previously thought possible. The results were published in a journal for APS Physics on June 29, 2015. So it's been a while now they're finally putting it out there. Uh, the Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest, most powerful particle accelerator. And it's located in a tunnel between Lake Geneva and the Jura mountain range at the Franco-Swiss border. Its largest machine in the world, Super Collider, was restarted in spring of 20, April 15, or 20, April of 2015, sorry about that, following two-year intense maintenance upgrade. All right. Um, during that upgrade, I believe it was that they upgraded everything to be able to use I think it's 13 or was it 130 I think it was 130 tetravolt system and I've already done um, information on the drop how they have to release all the energy and that caused the uh, uh, the earthquake that killed all those uh, mountain guys on Everest a few months back and that the dump of the energy caused the earthquake. But anyways, it's believed to correspond to the state of the universe shortly after the Big Bang. While high energy particle physics often focus on the, de the detection of the subatomic particles such as the recently discovered Higgs boson, the quark, the new quark glu gluon plasma research instead examines behavior of a volume of such particles. So bottom line, working on the LHC, an international team of physicists have produced quark gluon plasma, state of matter thought to exist at the birth of the universe. And from what I understand, folks, they were able to produce this because they were able to keep the um, everything up and running for such a long time that this basically, from what I understand, was a precipitate of the initial blast. I could be wrong. But from what I understand, this is more of an ectoplasma uh, from the bombarding particles. They bombarded the particles, and basically, because you're in a vacuum and everything else, everything kind of goes down, and it creates this gluon plasma. So that's what I understand it to be.
Um, let me go ahead and look online real quick to see if we can even find out what this looks like. Because I want to see this. Let's see. Uh, quark gluon plasma. Okay. Yeah, I know what a quark is. Trying to see if they have... Is that it? No. Alright, well I thought for sure they would have some little... Alright, well... Alright, well, I don't see it. I apologize. I was expecting somebody to have like a petri dish of this stuff. Or whatever container it's in. I imagine it's quite harmless in its innate state. So, um, ATS here doesn't really say much. It basically goes through the same thing. Produce droplets of a state of matter thought to exist at the beginning of the universe. Uh, an international team of at the LHC produced quark gluon plasma, state of matter which existed right at the birth of the universe. Uh, journal APS Physics, June 2015, June 29, 2015. Just trying. Uh, here we go. The new material was discovered by colliding protons with lead nuclei at energy inside the super collider's compact neuron solenoid detector. Physicists have dubbed the result plasma littlest liquid. So the plasma was not solid. Liquid? Did I get it right? This is a very interesting thing. All right, so Quan Wang, University of Kansas researcher at CERN LHC, European Organization for Nuclear Research. Wang described the quark gluon plasma as a very hot and dense state of matter of unbound quarks and gluons that is not contained within individual nucleons. I've been, I believe, it's believed rather to be correspond to the state of the universe shortly after the Big Bang. So I can only imagine what this stuff actually has the potential to, that's not it, but I can only believe what this stuff is capable of doing. I mean, think about, think about the, uh, think about that movie. Uh, what was it? Dimitri Code or, uh, Da Vinci Code. The second one, where, where they're running around because uh, somebody stole the uh, uh, some some particle or something that if the magnets ran out, this thing would create like a super nuke from one or two particles bashing together at the speed of light, and they were able to hold it together with two small little magnets inside a uh, you know a glass beaker about that big. Didn't really seem like that. But hey, uh, so I'm just wondering about this, and everything I can find doesn't really show this stuff as to what it actually is, and I imagine that even its pictures are highly classified at the moment. So I think we might start seeing some very interesting things.